backgammon is like a philosophy. You can get to the right answer by asking the right questions, giving yourself good answers, and sometimes it can have multiple answers. Most more things can be correct, more things can be closed, unsolved, and can remain basically unknown. Well, today's position is a good example of how can we find the best play by just asking the right questions. And of course, we'll use our system, our way of thinking to prove that the right decision is the right decision. So first, um, let's look at what's happening in a position. It's a money game, normal score, doesn't matter again. We are behind in a race and we are about to play 5-4. Uh, as we can see, there are like three possible choices. One would be making a 20 point. Second would be entering on a four and hitting on a three point. Uh, third would be uh, coming in with a four and playing 13 to eight. Now, of course, I can be asking myself questions like, uh, what do I want? What do I want most? What does making the 20 point accomplish, uh, why would I be hitting on a three? It all can pop to your mind. You can have these philosoph philosoph philosophical questions, but it's important to know how to evaluate them. And well, let's look at the um, each scenario one by one and let's see what it does. So if we manage to make the 20 point, what's going to happen? So he's getting, he's anchoring up with a two and then, well, we're in need to roll a five to create that five prime, which we could have had already. Uh, he can just hit us with a five and then we don't find ourselves in the best position because, well, we just don't have anything to attack here anymore. We don't have enough checkers to build something more. So we are basically stuck. We are basically stuck with this four point prime um, until the later of the game. So that's the five point. This is just the future. Can be the best, doesn't have to be. This is just what it accomplishes. This is what I feel like, how I perceive if I make that 20 point, how my position is going to look like, what's going to happen and how it's going to develop. That's always important to realize. Uh, second thing we've said entering on a four point and hitting on a three. Uh, already previously, I've mentioned that we don't have that enough checkers to make any powerful moves. So again, if we just get hit with a three, um, our attack is pretty much dead. Again, that power, you know, I talk a lot about powerful hits, about having a power, about having a powerful future. Again, I cannot see much of it here, you know. So if I talk, I can talk about risk reward. What's the reward here? Well, the reward is not that big, even if I get missed, because, well, it's simply not powerful enough. I can't see a potential here. Yeah, and that's when I don't get hit. If I get hit, it's even worse. Well, what if... What if I just enter on a 4 and what if I play 13 to 8? Oh well, suddenly I've upgraded. I mean, it's not something that I did something that powerful, but I've upgraded. I've 100% upgraded my position. And what am I facing now? He can still anchor up with a 2, which now is definitely better since, well, he's behind a 5 prime, right? Then... Uh, if I can avoid uh, him making the five point, I mean, what else can he do? If he doesn't roll 6 3, 6 1, 3 1, and some doubles, of course, what is he gonna do? I've got the power. The power is hidden in that five prime because I'm giving him so many bad rolls and I'm not exposing myself anywhere. So, I've got the stable position 100% of the time. Whatever he rolls, I can be happy. And, well, if he rolls double force, I'm not jumping out of my chair, but okay, still got my five prime. So 
this seems like the best future. And again, just the only way how to find these or how to be confident about these is just experience these things. Experience these things, just look over what's the idea, what are you accomplishing, and what are you giving to your opponent. Again, you saw myself asking many questions, but it's also important to correctly answer to them. Yeah, to answer as precisely as you can. Now, well, this was really just twos, fives. I wouldn't be that happy after anything because my power is just not there. Yeah. So that's why 13-8 making the five prime here feels like such a powerful move. And it is the best play here. Uh, also, in the previous position of the day video, we talked about score things, right? And that would change my philosophy, my thinking process. And again, if this was a match, let's say we'd be losing what? We'd be losing 1 5 2 7. Well, then everything could switch again. Then a2-3 could become more powerful because even though I didn't feel that power before, because, well, to be honest, well, I really don't have enough checkers. I don't have enough power to just do these things that powerfully. Well, at the score, at, at certain scores, this, mm, this thing like multiplies, you know, when I'm in a gam and go score, this is what I'm searching for. This is so this this idea is what I'm searching for more and basically most here. Yeah. So this would be one five two seven. If I show three five two seven, then this is even more gam and go, and this actually will become the best move. So again, in these positions, in these videos, I just wanted to show you how scores matter. Also, that it's not gam and go like gam and go. 1 5, we are saying, okay, it's gam and go score, right? Of course it is. But well, 3 5, that's for example even more gam and go score. And these things are just super beautiful. And I'm just, just so happy and grateful that I can be sharing, sharing them with you. And yeah, again, always interested about hearing your comments, hearing your ideas. And yeah. So thank you for watching. One last thing. Uh, I've been recording. This is 36th, 35th, 36th position of the day. And if you guys have any interesting position regarding checker plays, I don't do cube actions yet. Uh, feel free to just send me the position to either to directly to me or to Bagam Coaching website. And maybe I will review some if I find it interesting, if I find it that it can help people, it has then some interesting idea in it, then I'd be happy to record a video on it. So thanks guys, thank you for, thank you for watching and have a good day. Would you like to get better, but you are not sure where to start? Pygammon Coaching offers you three options on how to get better. First, we just published a six hour Pygammon course about all parts of the game for intermediate and advanced players to improve. Second, you can get an individual online lesson with me. Third, analysis of your matches. Get your answers, good and clear explanations to improve your game from the Grandmaster. For more information, check out our website, packamoncoaching.com.